Hypertension, HTN or height, also known as high blood pressure, HBP, is a disease characterized increased blood pressure in the arteries persistently. Primary hypertension accounts for more than 85% of cases. The remaining 15% represent secondary HTN. Primary hypertension means no direct identifiable causes exist. Risk factors for hypertension include intake excess salt in the diet, overweight and obesity smoking, and alcohol use. Long-term high increased blood pressure causes serious complications, coronary artery disease, stroke, heart failure, peripheral arterial disease, chronic kidney disease, blindness, dementia, arrhythmias for example atrial fibrillation, hypertensive retinopathy. 22% of the population of the world have hypertension. Hypertension was believed to have been a factor in 18% of all deaths. That's why it is recommended to treat hypertension. Moreover, the treatment of moderately high arterial blood pressure, defined as greater than 160 hundredths of a millimeter of mercury, with medications is associated with an improved life expectancy. So, management of hypertension is directly correlated with quality of life and life expectancy. Symptoms Headaches, particularly at the back of the head and in the morning, as well as lightheadedness, vertigo, tinnitus, buzzing or hissing in the ears, altered vision or fainting episodes. Normal blood pressure, less than 120 mm Hg systolic, less than 80 mm Hg diastolic. Prehypertension, 120 to 139 mm Hg systolic, 80 to 90 mm Hg diastolic. Stage 1 hypertension, 140 to 159 mm Hg systolic, 91 to 99 mm Hg diastolic. Stage 2 hypertension, greater than or equal to 160 m Hg systolic, greater than or equal to 100 m Hg diastolic. Severely elevated blood pressure, equal to or greater than a systolic 180 or diastolic of 110, is referred to as a hypertensive crisis. In hypertensive emergency, damages internal organs. The most affected organs include the brain, kidney, heart and lungs, producing symptoms which may include confusion, drowsiness, chest pain and breathlessness. The blood pressure must be reduced rapidly to stop ongoing organ damage. Prevention. Maintain normal body weight for adults, body mass index 20 to 25 kg slash M2. Reduce dietary sodium in, less than 6 grams of sodium chloride or less than 2.4 grams of sodium per day. Engage in regular aerobic physical activity such as brisk walking, greater than or equal to 30 min per day. Limit alcohol consumption to no more than 3 units slash day in men and no more than 2 units slash day in women. Consume a diet rich in fruit and vegetables. Management. Reduction of the blood pressure by 5 mm of mercury can decrease the risk of stroke by 34%, of ischemic heart disease by 21%. Target pressure should be below the range 140 to 160, 90 to 100 millimeters of mercury for the general population. The first line of treatment for hypertension is lifestyle changes, including dietary changes, physical exercise, and weight loss, low sodium, the DASH diet dietary approaches to stop hypertension, vegetarian diets, and green tea consumption. Dietary potassium may lower high blood pressure. Medications. First-line medications for hypertension include thiazide diuretics, calcium channel blockers, angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, ACE inhibitors, and angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs. Most people require more than one medication to control their hypertension. Beta blockers are not so effective compared to other first-line medications. Resistant hypertension is defined as high blood pressure that remains above a target level, in spite of being prescribed three or more antihypertensive drugs simultaneously with different mechanisms of action. Electrical therapies that stimulate the reflex are being studied as an option for lowering blood pressure in people in this situation.